Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a mirror shine on a pair of Cordovan leather shoes. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments section below. I enjoy getting back to as many of those questions as possible. Cordovan leather shoes require their own unique care, and that's because Cordovan technically isn't leather. It's actually a membrane that comes from the horse's rear quarters. One of the things that makes Cordovan very unique is that it doesn't have an open pore structure like calfskin. Instead, it has a very tight fiber structure that is further compressed during the tanning process. Because of that, Cordovan is very unique in that it doesn't naturally have a very high shine. This pair of Carmina Cordovan Balmora boots, uh, as you can see, is completely unfinished with any type of polyurethane finish from the factory. And so you're able to see the natural finisher texture of the beautiful Cordovan leather. And, and as you can see, it's quite matte. It's not very uh, glossy. However, that doesn't mean that you can't give your Cordovan leather shoes a beautiful mirror shine. And there's no better products to do that than the Saphir Medal Dior Mirror Gloss. What I like about the Saphir Mirror Gloss is it has a lower concentration of solvents in it than, say, the Saphir Pat Deluxe Wax Polish. The reason this is important for Cordovan is that those solvents penetrate into the Cordovan leather and can cause that tight fiber structure to expand, thereby ultimately degradating you know, the really unique tight fiber structure that makes Cordovan unique. Now, the mirror gloss can be used in lieu of the Pat Deluxe Wax Polish because it has a lower concentration of solvents and therefore you don't have to worry about it altering the texture of your Cordovan leather shoes at all. Cordovan does require its own special care. And we have an extensive shoe shine tutorial uh, on our YouTube channel on how to care for Cordovan leather shoes. But to just back up a little bit, you know, the most important care you can do for your Cordovan leather shoes is actually just frequent brushing with the pig bristle brush. The reason is because Cordovan actually shines up quite well with just brushing because of those natural oils that's tanned into this leather. Then, of course, we recommend the primary use of the Saphir Cordovan Cream Polish for the conditioning and repigmentation of your Cordovan shoes. This doesn't have any solvents in it, unlike the Saphir Pomodoro Cream Polish, uh, and is based on Neat's foot oil. So again, it's going to feed the Cordovan leather, keeping it soft, supple, but without altering the texture of the leather itself. And then the other product that's very unique for the care of Cordovan is a deer bone. And the purpose of the deer bone, again, is to get the creasing out of the vamp of the shoe. And we have an entire video on the website also showing you how to use the deer bone. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a nice, beautiful high shine in your Cordovan leather shoes. And so the products that I'm gonna be using are a high shine water dispenser. You can also use a spritz bottle. Very important is our high shine uh, hanger project cotton chamois. And then I'm gonna use the Saphir Medal d'Or Mirror Gloss and a little bit of Pat Deluxe just for that final buffing and finishing. Uh, but this is just gonna be used at the end so you don't have to worry about it penetrating the leather. Okay, so the first step of any mirror shine is building that foundation of hard waxes. And that's why the Saphir Mirror Gloss is so incredible. This is a product that I actually collaborated with Avell to create and has really made the mirror shine process so much more easy to attain. The reason is because it has that high concentration of those hard waxes that creates that mirror shine and a low concentration of solvents, which uh, is what acts against the mirror shine by softening those waxes. So the first step of any mirror shine process is to create that foundation of hard wax. And so I'm gonna do that here with our Saphir Mirror Gloss. I'm using a neutral and our high shine chamois. Now the beauty of our Hanger Project High Shine Chamois, again, is it's made out of cotton shirting. And so it has a very tight weave structure that is perfect for creating a mirror shine. So in step one, I'm gonna apply a pretty generous amount of the Saphir Mirror Gloss to my chamois. Again, you can see just how dense this polish is. I mean, I'm tapping it with my finger, it's hardly breaking up. It is a hard wax polish. It takes a little bit of getting used to because again, it's much softer than the Pat Deluxe, but boy, is it incredible once you start using it. I've got the mirror gloss on my Hanger Project High Shine Chamois, and I'm just going to begin massaging this into the Cordovan leather using small circular motions. Now you always want to limit your mirror shine to just the hard countered areas of the shoe. This is typically the toe cap and the rear quarters. In this video, I'm just going to be creating that mirror shine on my toe cap. And the reason that that's important is because if you do a high shine across any area of the shoe that isn't hard countered, that flexes, as soon as you flex that leather, those hard waxes are going to crack immediately, uh, thereby ruining your high shine. 
So I'm gonna apply one or two coats of the Saphir Mirror Gloss using my cotton chamois. And again, the purpose here is I'm just developing that foundation of those hard waxes. So once I have that worked in and I feel like I have a smooth layer, you can begin to feel the polish really uh, becoming dry. Uh, your chamois wants to start skipping across the polish. And so at that point, allow the polish to dry for a few minutes because you want those solvents to fully evaporate and those hard waxes to dry. So once those hard waxes are dry, take a clean area of your high shine chamois and a little bit of water. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start buffing those waxes to a shine. I like to put a little bit of wax polish on my chamois just to pick up those solvents. And then you're just going to buff using medium to firm pressure and small circular motions. Now this is like watching uh, you know, bread rise. Uh, it takes a while uh, in order for these hard waxes to really work up to a shine. And so you have to be patient, especially with your first few coats. If you find that your chamois is beginning to skip across the leather or you feel it dragging, just add a little bit more water. Now what I'm doing is in between kind of polishing, once I see that the waxes are starting to work up to a shine, I'm just gently dabbing my uh, high shine chamois back in the mirror glass to just pick up a little bit more polish. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to build that foundation of hard waxes in as thin of layers as possible because that's what's gonna give you the most brilliant shine. Now you wanna be careful not to use too much water. Less is really more, so whenever I you know, put some water on my chamois, I always try to you know, just dry it off a little bit by rubbing this cotton sh uh, chamois back on my leather shoe shine carpet. Uh, but you could rub it against a towel just as easily. Now you can see this shine beginning to develop. And again, don't, you don't have to be gentle. I mean, I'm you know, rubbing this quite fast because you want that heat, you want that friction to really work those hard waxes to a nice shine. So you can see it's already starting to elevate and shine, but you can see kind of how it's uneven. And what that is, is that is the wax is not completely filling in kind of the variations in the leather structure. So what you need to do is just continue to build up those layers of hard waxes until that smooths out. So I'm gonna apply another generous coat. And I'm really massaging this into the leather with medium to firm pressure because I want this wax polish to go onto the leather in an even smooth layer. Okay, so once I begin to feel my chamois really drag across these hard waxes, I'm gonna stop massaging this layer on and allow it to dry. Okay, so I've got a little bit more water on my chamois, just a quick dab, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin working on buffing that last application of the mirror gloss to a shine. Now you can see that high shine is really starting to develop. And so at a certain point, I'm going to bring in the Saphir Pat Deluxe to really finish this off. What I like about the Pat Deluxe, again, is I find that it works really well in conjunction with the mirror gloss because of those higher solvents that you find in the Pat Deluxe. It's a much wetter polish than the mirror gloss. And you know, I really liken that to you know, essentially what is wet sanding or wet buffing. You know, after you have a really nice foundation of hard waxes, it's nice to bring on that solvent-rich Pat Deluxe to really glissage and shine, or bring out the shine in those hard waxes. It's not necessary. You can certainly do it with just a cotton chamois and a little bit of water in the mirror gloss. Uh, but I find that they just work so well together uh, that I really enjoy finishing with the Pat Deluxe. So this is just after two kind of heavy applications. You can see that mirror shine is really developing. That's what I love about the mirror gloss. I mean, the Saphir Mirror Gloss Medaille d'Or, you know, makes the mirror shine process so much easier than it was before. I mean, you can develop a really respectable mirror shine in as little as three to five applications of the mirror gloss, you know, in 30 minutes. Whereas before, uh, it literally would require hours and, you know, you know, countless applications of the Pat Deluxe. And the reason is because those higher concentrations of the solvents in the Pat Deluxe uh, would effectively uh, take off a few of the top layers. So it was like three steps forward, two steps back. Um, and it just took a long time to really develop uh, a beautiful mirror shine. So I'm just continuing to work this polish, 
a little bit of water until I find that all the fogging of that polish has been buffed to a nice shine. And then once you achieve that, uh, then you can apply another layer of the mirror gloss. Now, if you apply a successive layer of mirror gloss before you work it to a shine, what you do is you lock in that fogging. So it's really important to completely buff to a nice shine every successive application of the mirror gloss. Otherwise, you'll find that you have some dull spots uh, in the mirror shine itself. So this is the third kind of big application of the mirror gloss, as you can see. And I'm really getting it on this chamois and I'm gonna work it in to this cordovan leather. Theoretically, as you're building that mirror shine finish, you'd want each successive application of the mirror gloss to be slightly thinner. Um, you know, the true professionals, the glissage artists that just get uh, absolutely beautiful mirror shines, you know, as they finish their mirror shine, you know, they're applying tiny, minuscule, successive layers of wax polish to develop that depth to the patina. Okay, so this is the third application. At this point, I'm gonna work a little bit of the Pat Deluxe into this finish. And the reason, as I stated earlier, is that the high concentration or the higher concentration of solvents in the Pat Deluxe versus the mirror gloss just really help glissage and bring out the shine of those waxes. Now, I don't recommend using a Saphir Pat Deluxe uh, or any wax that is uh, designed for cordovan or or any wax that's designed for calfskin uh, on cordovan because again, those solvents will penetrate into that fiber structure and cause those fibers to expand. But because I've already created a nice foundation of hard waxes, these solvents actually won't be reaching the leather. They'll just be acting on those top layers of waxes that I've created here at the mirror gloss. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water in my chamois and then I'm just using a tiny amount of the Pat Deluxe Wax Polish. I mean, just a little dab is enough to pick up those solvents, as you can see. Maybe that's even a lot. And then I just want enough to kind of melt that top layer of wax to allow me to develop a shine. Now, you don't want to rush this process. You really want to allow, you know, the waxes to dry, you know. Play around with a little bit of water. So here I'm just using water. And then I'm going to take just a quick dab of the Pat Deluxe. Allow it to dry. If you feel your chamois starting to really drag across those waxes, then add a little bit of water. really see a beautiful mirror shine beginning to come out. So again, you know, at the end, don't rush it. A little bit of water. If you add too much water, you'll end up with doling. Light to medium pressure. Nice, fast speed. A little bit of the Pat Deluxe. A little bit of water. Now, if you feel like you're pushing around those waxes too much, like they haven't dried, just blow on it a little bit. You just want those waxes to dry and harden so that you can buff them to a shine. Okay, so this is the point at which you really fall into the mirage of a beautiful mirror shine. I find that as you uh, really get towards the end of the mirror shine process, you can almost fall into it. Uh, you'd be mesmerized or hypnotized by it and spend the rest of your day trying to get that perfect mirror shine. Uh, I always make a point that, you know, once I get towards the end to set the shoe down, to kind of step back, maybe set it on the ground and look at it while I'm standing, uh, because that gives you a better judge of uh, how effective of mirror shine you've actually created. But let's look at it next to the other shoes so that we can really see the difference uh, that we were able to achieve. So looking you know, at the left boot that I created this mirror shine on versus the right boot, you can really see the difference here. I mean, there's no question uh, that a proper mirror shine really makes your shoes pop. Uh, this is a beautiful shine. 
Uh, could I continue to work on this for hours? Absolutely. Uh, but this is pretty good and uh, one that I say really illustrates how effectively you're able to create a mirror shine using uh, the Saphir mirror gloss. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, you could, of course, uh, keep on going, uh, but this is pretty, pretty good. We have an extensive playlist of mirror shine tutorials uh, here on our YouTube channel. If you're looking to hone your mirror shine skills, uh, take a look at our mirror shine playlist and specifically our ultimate mirror shine video. So to summarize, in order to create a mirror shine on your quarter than leather shoes, you want to be using the Saphir Medaille or Mirror Gloss. It's a great product. Uh, I applied three applications of the mirror gloss, buffing it with our Hanger Project High Shine Chamois and a little bit of water, and then finished it off with a really light buff using the Saphir Pat Deluxe to just bring those hard waxes uh, to a nice, brilliant shine. The Pat Deluxe, a little bit of water, the High, gloss sham high Shine Chamois uh, really makes those hard waxes pop. For total cordovan care, take a look at our How to Shine Cordovan Leather Shoes video that we have here on our YouTube channel. All the Saphir products that we used in this video can be found on hangerproject.com, where we're proud to have the largest selection of luxury shoe care and luxury garment care accessories available anywhere in the world. In today's video, I'm wearing a WW Chan Azania sports jacket with a Drakes of London uh, green silk pocket square. Of course, I've got my trademark white shirt on, but today's shirt is actually made by Bud Shirt Makers in London. I'm wearing uh, one of our new Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade uh, hand-printed ties on 36 ounce silk. This is actually uh, goes through a matter bath, which gives it a very nice dry hand. And you can see all of our Sovereign Grade ties create a beautiful dimple uh, and tie just perfectly. I'm wearing a pair of my white gold uh, Hanger Project cufflinks, uh, my Chopard Perpetual Calendar watch, a pair of my bespoke Chris Despis uh, gray trousers with single reverse pleats and tabs, and I have on my bespoke George Cleverly black cap toe Oxford shoes, and my favorite Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade small dot melange dress socks. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining me.